Strap in for the wild and somewhat tragic ride of Topsy, an elephant calf nabbed from Southeast Asia around 1875 and catapulted into American life. Our Topsy had quite the ride, to say the least. Turned into a circus attraction, Topsy was tossed from owner to owner, sadly mistreated to the point her tail became all twisted. This hefty dose of cruelty made our elephant develop a rather temperamental personality, earning her an aggressive reputation that ended with the death of three people. And it was this reputation that put her on death row. Initially, the method of execution chosen for Topsy was vetoed by the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Then came the light bulb moment. How about using the latest novelty of the time, electricity? In the late 1880s, humanity was still running on gas lamps to light up the nights. Electricity was a gleaming novelty, with the war of currents in full swing to define how this power would be distributed. On one side, Nikola Tesla and George Westinghouse advocated for alternating current. On the other, Thomas Edison stood his ground for direct current, insisting that the alternating one was more dangerous. And, well, the cause of animals seemed like a good pretext to prove his point. When the SPCA asked Edison if electrocution would be a more humane way of sacrificing animals, he launched into a series of experiments involving the electrocution of animals with alternating current. Then, in a bid to score a home run in his argument, Edison decided to electrocute an elephant in New York. The Edison Electric Illuminating Company was brought in to supply the electricity for this horrific spectacle. Even a filming crew, a rarity for the time, was called in to document the occasion. There were around 1,500 spectators to watch the gruesome sacrifice, but Thomas Edison was not among them. No report from the time mentions his presence at the event. In fact, when Topsy was condemned to death, the War of Currents had already been over for a decade, and Edison had already lost. The alternating current proved more efficient for the transport of electricity over long distances. Edison wouldn't have anything to gain from Topsy's sacrifice. Many still blame Edison for Topsy's death today, but that seems to be a historical inaccuracy. The company that provided the electricity for the event bore Edison's name, but it didn't belong to him. Back in the day, it was common for companies to use Edison in their name just to indicate they primarily worked with direct current. There's no evidence that he was consulted about the case or the filming. The truth is that the sad end of Topsy, the elephant, was the result of a series of mistreatments and questionable choices that turned into a media spectacle. But this terrible act cannot be directly attributed to Edison.